Hey, here we are at 748 Dodge Street. Uh, this is about 18, a little over 1,800 square feet. The house on the corner is for sale right now. It's listed at like 130 right now. Uh, it's in good shape, but it's 1,900 square feet, so a little bit bigger at 130. This one here is listed at 50 even. Uh, there's no power in the house, and uh, I've already hadn't really been all the way through it yet, so we're going to discover it together. Uh, I looked into my truck's lights just a second ago and blinded myself, but I was looking at these pieces in the cement, so um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a square here, a square here, a square here so it looks like they're uh, here so so it looks like uh, foundation work yep here's another one here's another one and here's a one right here so uh, and of course this is never good to see one like that that could mean that there's termite in that usually um, but anyway let's go ahead and go through it the outside front looked pretty good as you can see the inside not bad All right, so tile floor, kitchen, living room together. And I've got a bit of a break in the tile right there, you can see. Uh, let's see what we got here. Stainless steel appliances. That, I think, you know, cleaning some of that up may work. I don't know, we, we got textures look okay. Uh, everything looks okay here. Uh, I got a wooden countertop so a lot of cleaning in here would do a world of good alright so no grounds on the plugs the way to combat that or the way to remedy that is to put a GFCI on the first circuit of each room so that way it grounds out the plug it looks like they open up a wall here to create this space Okay, so it just wraps around. This would be the the master massive fan. All right. So in here, I mean, that's that all could be taken out and redone. Another bedroom here. No, not a bedroom. Well, it, closet, closet. So. This is a bedroom. Uh, okay, so I see it has a little function issue there on that one because that bedroom is blocked off by a bedroom. I was trying to see if it had any kind of information on what type of Freon we have here or a date range when it was installed. I don't see anything on the door or anywhere. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to assume that may not be a 410 unit. It may be an R22 unit. Uh, or As you know, R22 units can be $100 a pound. Usually requires three to six pounds. So three to $600 just on free on if it's an R22. Looks like they've they've updated some stuff in here. But anyway, uh, toilet could uh, come out. All this could come out uh, in here and, and opened up. You wouldn't want that in here for insurance. All right, let me go in here. So we've got... Now the bedroom here, the floors could be sanded and redone. I've seen these where they are sanded and redone. They look quite nice. So we've got um, probably on the outside of the house another electrical box. So that work's been done. That's good. It's good to see that already done. That could be a $3,000 ordeal moving the electric service and, and getting rid of the old uh, tube, glass tube, uh, what, they, what they call them, knob and tube with the glass fuses. All right, so we know it wraps around. One more time in here. I gotta get this. Understand what's going on here. All right, we got bedroom, another bedroom, and then the third bedroom is locked in over here by this bedroom. So we do have a problem here, which couldn't really go through the closet on that one. So we've got a. A bedroom that's kind of stuck stuck by itself right there so we do have a problem on functionality let's go in the backyard here and see what we got
Hmm. Got some exterior plumbing out here. That may mean that the inside plumbing was taken taken out. I mean, or it had an issue and they took that out to to do that. The roof looked okay from what I've seen. I know it's already dark now, so it's going to be hard to tell. But the roof looked okay. It looked like it cleaned up real good. Windows. Okay, this is kind of coming down a little bit here. It's got a really nice fence around the house. So none of this outside would need to be taken care of here because it's it's already wrapped in metal and it's brick, vinyl, it just needs a good bath. Beautiful fenced in yard here. As you can see, the whole yard is covered in nice fence, all the good side. I did not see a washer and dryer out here, so that must mean it's in here. So let's see. No, you can't see that in there, but yeah, washer and dryer is in there along with some storage and a dog that doesn't like the company. Oh, here we go. Yeah, washer dryer hookups outside. This part's grounded. Let's see. Not bad. So it goes through. Huh. All right, so the only thing that worries me about this one here, I don't know if you can, you can see that slope going down right here. So I imagine if they get any water under here, it may come in the house. About time for me to place the batteries in that. Um, foundation work. I see it's been stabilized, but look, there's no, no crack in the brick whatsoever. So I think they just poured it low and may... Then this this is low, but it doesn't show it on the house. Or maybe the whole house sunk as one solid piece. Interesting. It's got some of the, you can find a lot of this iron ore around here. Air conditioner unit. Or 10a okay so it's been updated that AC unit may may crank right up and it is gas heat so I should come right up well anyway this is a interesting find for 50,000 when I think all this floor in here can be just sanded out and redone there's some water staining along that edge yeah this this floor is gotten wet before there was carpet in here too i see tax strip uh that area's been wet could have came from hot water heater is busted so there's water in the bottom of that so that that could be the cause of that water damage on that side um okay so a refrigerator could have been leaking or or one of any one of those items there not too bad. I, I mean, locked.